We are just days away from week one. Giants, Cowboys, Sunday Night Football, and I cannot wait. I want to know, though, who do you got starting the season 1-0? Is it the Giants? Is it the Cowboys? Type NYG if you're rolling with Big Blue, or if you're a loser, type DAL in the comment section. Coming up on today's show, we're going to break down the latest injury news surrounding the New York Giants, and I'm going to give you five reasons why the Giants are going to beat the Cowboys and go 1-0. You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. Make sure you join us on the channel this Sunday night. We're going to be live an hour before kickoff. We'll be live for the entire game. We'll have free play-by-play -play highlights, stats, analysis, and instant reaction, and a lot of fun, and we're going to party. So turn your notifications on, subscribe, set a reminder in your phone for this Sunday night, 7.20 p.m. Eastern time. Be there. All right, let's get into it. Why will the Giants beat the Cowboys? Actually, we'll talk about that later in the show. Let's get to the news of the day. The latest injury report was released for the Giants. We are recording this on Friday. The Giants did not have practice today, so this is a projected injury report, and here it is. Running back Gary Brightwell is dealing with a knee injury. Cam Brown, an ankle. Lawrence Cager, also an ankle. DJ Davidson, a knee injury. Cordell Flott, hammy. And Javarius Owens, also dealing with a hammy. The most notable, though, is wide receiver Wandale Robinson, still coming back from that torn ACL that he suffered last year. I believe it was week nine against the Detroit Lions. But having Wandale Robinson on the field for week one would be huge for this football team. I'm sure when the designations come out, he's going to be listed as questionable. But uh, having him out there would be big. It'd just be another weapon for Daniel Jones to throw to. He's been such a gadgetish type of player. He can rack up the yak. He's a generator with the football in his hands. And I want to see him out there. But I do think there's no need to rush him. You have plenty of other wide receivers that can go out and help. And it hasn't even been 10 months since he tore that ACL. If we get any more news or info or rumors coming out about the injury report, we are going to make a video. And that is why you subscribe to New York Giants Now by Chat Sports videos every single day for free on Big Blue. And we're in a sub battle right now with the Dallas Cowboys Report, another channel here at Chat Sports hosted by Tom Downey. He's been talking smack all week, saying we're going to beat you in the sub battle. We're going to beat you on the field. And that just pisses me off. F Tom Downey. Hit that sub button and help us catch up to the Cowboys report. All righty, let's get into why I believe the Giants are going to beat the Dallas Cowboys. One, this is just a much different football team for the New York Giants than it was dating back to week one of last year. But let's focus in on Giants-Cowboys Thanksgiving 2022 matchup. These players were not on the field, and they make such a difference. Bobby Okereke was a huge addition to this defense, one of the best inside linebackers in the NFL. And he's going to have a big week. Ben Bredesen is going to be a starting O-lineman this week. Aziz Ojolari, he, in my opinion, is the most tactically sound and most efficient pass rusher on this team. Darren Waller, we know what Darren Waller can do. We'll talk about him later. Sterling Shepard, that's going to be a big addition as well. Xavier McKinney did not play in that game. Adoree Jackson did not play in that game. Daniel Bellinger did not play in that game. And then the two additions of Paris Campbell and Ashawn Robinson. Then you got some rookies like Jalen Hyatt, John Michael Schmitz, Deontay Banks, Trey Hawkins. You got Joshua Zudu, who did not play in that game. We just went through 15 players that are going to play key roles in this football game. It's a new look Giants team. And I'm ready to beat the Dallas Cowboys this Sunday. These guys are going to have an impact on that. Reason number two. I'm just tired of the freaking disrespect. It is Daniel Jones's time to really on the big stage show why, once again, he can get it done like he did on the road in the playoffs as underdogs against the Minnesota Vikings. It's his time to finally get a win against a Dak Prescott-led Dallas Cowboy team. Jones right now is 0-6 versus the Cowboys when Dak is the starter. Why do I think that's going to change? Daniel has never had this much help in his life. Last year, he was throwing to Richie James and Marcus Johnson. That's just not going to be a thing anymore. You got Wandale, you got Hyatt, you got Paris Campbell, you got Sterling Shepard, Isaiah Hodgins, Paris Campbell, Darren Waller, Saquon Barkley. You have a good starting center now. This is the most talent he has ever 
had. And I'm just tired of the disrespect. We got people in the chat sports studios telling me that Brock Purdy is a better quarterback than Daniel Jones. He's scared to throw the football down the field. It's time for the guy that accounted for 4,000 yards last year, was bottom five in interceptions throw, thrown top six in QBR last season. Look, my eyes don't lie. Daniel Jones is a good quarterback, and he's going to show it this Sunday night against the Cowboys. A big reason for that, Darren effing Waller. The Giants have had not had this type of playmaker at the receiver or tight end position since Odell Beckham Jr. That is how good Darren Waller is, and he has something to prove. There's a lot of people from the Raiders that think that he quit on the team last year, that he's washed up, he can't stay healthy. Number 12, he's got a chip on his shoulder. It's a freaking boulder at this point. He wants to prove everybody wrong, one of the most well-spoken human beings out there, and he might not tell you that he's ready to prove everybody wrong and shift the narrative around him, but he's going to be a top five tight end in this league. I truly do believe that this season. Show him some love. Show big Darren Waller some love, the go-to target for this football team. Type 12 down in the comments section. Show some love for our guy, Mr. Waller. A big reason I have the Giants winning this game is not just because I think Brian Dable is a better coach than, the, uh, than Mike McCarthy. Not that I think that the Giants have a better offensive coordinator. It's this matchup right here. Wink Martindale versus Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy is a stiff. He has one of the most basic playbooks I have ever seen in my life. Producer Patrick Seatman has been playing it, saying it all week long. Slant flat, slant flat. You're going to see it over and over again. And Martindale is going to take advantage of the vanilla playbook that McCarthy is going to trot out there this Sunday night. It is always a problem when you're the head coach and you fire your offensive coordinator and then you take his job like you're going to go in there and do better like you weren't one of the worst offensive coordinators, Mike McCarthy, when you were calling the plays for Green Bay. You never want – that is last resort. That means you're on the hot seat, and McCarthy is, and he's trying to save his job. Let's see if he can get it off to a good start this week against one of the best defensive coordinators in the NFL, Wink Martindale. I have a couple more points to make, but I need you to get hooked up with our proud sportsbook partner, BetUS. Go to this link right here, chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code chat125 and BetUS, they're going to hook you up with 125% deposit bonus. So if you put 100 bucks into your account, they're going to give you a free 125 bucks, and you should bet Giants money line. I think it's one of the safest and I think most profitable bets this week. They enter as three and a half point underdogs. And like we're talking about all show, the Giants are going to beat the Cowboys. Get hooked up. Chatsports.com slash bet promo code chat125. I wanted to put two players at this final spot. Kayvon Thibodeau and Dexter Lawrence. Dexter Lawrence is going to dominate this football game. Tyler Smith, the starting left guard for the Dallas Cowboys, his status is up in the air if he is going to play this Sunday. And Tom Downey actually messaged me yesterday and said, I'm actually worried that Tyler Smith's not going to play. Because if he doesn't, and Dexter Lawrence gets to go up against a backup left guard, it is going to be a problem for Dallas. But let's focus in on Kayvon Thibodeau and the type of impact he's going to have in this ballgame. Let's go back to Thanksgiving. The dude took over the football game. Back on November 24th, 2022, Kayvon Thibodeau, nine QB pressures, five QB hits, four QB hurries, and he had a pass rush win rate of 38%. I'll say the quote that he said when Kayvon Thibodeau was asked, yo, Kayvon, do you like playing on primetime? And he said, no, primetime likes me. Kayvon Thibodeau is going to dominate this football game, especially if Tyler Smith is not going to be able to go. Expect for this Giants defensive line to really take hold of this game and try to take it over number five and number 97 number 99, and number 51. Those dudes are going to be in the backfield all game long. Five reasons why the Giants will beat the Cowboys. It's a different Giants team. 15 players that are going to play a lot of snaps on Sunday didn't play last year. It's DJ's time. He's got Darren freaking Waller. M Mike McCarthy is a stiff, and Wink Martindale is going to expose him, and Kayvon Thibodeau, prime time Thibodeau, King K, he's going to show up and be ready to put on a show. I want you to predict the score for me before we bounce on out of here. Giants, Cowboys. I've got Giants 27, Cowboys 23, but I want to hear from you. Predict the score. Give me a winner 
down in the comments. And remember, you can also follow me over on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. I'll be live tweeting the game. I'm tweeting about the Giants all day, every day. And it's another place that you could stay up to date on news, rumors, injury updates, and all that fun stuff. So give me a follow at Marshall Green underscore. Thank you.